Hello, and welcome to this short video on Cummins air-cooled generator set installation. The objective of this video is to provide examples for installing the gaseous fuel system for the generator set. This video covers C13 through C20 N6H product models. Installation steps for the generator set are found in the installation manual and the Quick Start installation guide that can be found on QuickServe online. Note that this video is not a substitute for the information found in these documents. Refer to these documents before attempting to start a generator set installation for all required safety and compliance information and the complete procedures. All steps in this video should be done with the battery removed from the generator set and battery cables locked and tagged out. Fuel system materials that are required include a flexible fuel line, pipe thread sealant, an installed fuel service pressure regulator, and a manual fuel shutoff valve, in addition to the appropriate piping in between the fuel system components. Always refer to the latest revision of the installation manual for the complete list of equipment and tools that are required. These generator set models have convertible fuel systems. The engines can run on natural gas or propane, but are pre-configured from the factory to run on natural gas. For more information on converting the fuel system for use with propane, see the installation manual section titled Converting the Fuel System Type. In all fuel system installations, cleanliness is extremely important. Make sure to prevent contamination of the fuel supply by moisture, dirt, excess pipe thread sealant, or any other contaminants. The first step in installing the fuel supply system is to understand what pipe size to use from the gas service entrance to the generator set. Each model of generator set has a different fuel consumption rate depending on its size. Use Table 3 in the installation manual to understand the full load fuel consumption in cubic feet per hour for your generator set's size and fuel type. Measure the length of the pipe run from the service entrance to the generator set. At the same time, count how many elbow pieces will be required to run the fuel pipe up to the generator set. This information is required to make the correct selection for fuel pipe diameter. Next, navigate to the Fuel Line Selection appendix in the installation manual. Section A1 includes the necessary information to decide the correct fuel pipe diameter. Use tables 20 through 32 to compare the length of the pipe run with the generator set's fuel consumption rate. For example, a C20 N6H requires at least 278 cubic feet per hour of natural gas. For a 40-foot run of Schedule 40 metallic pipe, I would need to use 1-inch pipe to provide sufficient flow, as shown in Table 20. Continuing this example, Let's say there are also four 90 degree elbows required for the pipe run. With one inch piping, the four elbows would each add an equivalent length of 2.6 feet to the pipe run, or 10.4 feet total, as shown in table 18. This means the equivalent length of the pipe run, including the elbows, is 50.4 feet. Now, check again in Table 20 if the 1-inch pipe will have sufficient flow at 50.4 feet of length. As you can see, 1-inch pipe at 50 feet of length provides 284 cubic feet per hour. In this case, the max flow rate of 1-inch pipe is very close to the required 278 cubic feet per hour. To account for the additional restrictions of the flexible fuel hose and manual shutoff valve, we should use 1 and a quarter inch pipe to ensure there is enough fuel flow for the generator set. The fuel system consists of a fuel supply, either natural gas or propane, a primary service pressure regulator, a secondary service pressure regulator, if necessary, a manual shutoff valve, a flexible fuel hose, and all of the rigid fuel piping in between components. The flexible fuel hose protects the fuel system from vibration, and expansion and contraction of components within the fuel system. Connect the flexible fuel hose between the supply pipe and the generator set fuel inlet using pipe sealant. After all fuel line connections have been made and sealed, 
turn on the fuel supply and check for leaks. Use an approved leak detection solution on all joints to look for bubbles indicating a leak in the joint. After the fuel supply line has been installed and checked for leaks, check the fuel supply pressure at the inlet of the electronic fuel shutoff valves. Natural gas supply should be between 3.5 and 12 inches water column. Propane vapor supply should be between 6 and 12 inches water column. The next step in installation will be connection of AC power and DC control wiring. If you have any questions or are unsure about any of the installation steps, call 1-800-Cummins for factory assistance.